<sighs> it's time to learn some bird ID with... So this one's going to be fun. Flycatchers themselves are easy to recognize, they're usually olive-colored and perch characteristically on branches before zipping out to snap at a flying bug before returning to that same branch. Figuring out which species they are, however, is... hard. Especially for those in the genus Impidinax, which is what we'll be looking at today. The problem is that they all look the same. If they're not vocalizing, you need to rely on subtle morphological characteristics. But there's a couple of small features that are helpful for the main ones. First, the yellow-bellied flycatcher. They're yellow. Nice and easy. Next. Then we have the trails flycatcher. You may be having difficulty finding that specific name in your ID guides because trails is a catch-all for the willow and alder flycatchers. Because they look identical. No, I'm, I'm serious. In order to tell them apart in the hand, we need to do an exhaustive series of measurements that all have an enormous amount of overlap. It's almost never worth it. Out here, 95% of them are alder flycatchers, but unfortunately, 95 does not equal 100. If they're vocalizing, great! Their songs are very distinctive from each other. If they're not, just give up. Lastly, there's least fly catcher. Wait, that's that's a least, right? All right, I just had to consult the info hash on the video and cross-reference with our banding records to call this a least flycatcher. So great. Anyway, least flycatchers are slightly smaller and have a white eye ring. That's uh. That's it. That, that's all I've got for you. So there we go. Those, those are the main Canadian impidinacs. Long story short, pray they sing.